Now let me give you a story. Let's cut this short and then let me give you a story. So when I was coming back to Nairobi, I carried my size one bag. My size one bag. Do you know the dogs at the at, at, at the at the check-in point? They stayed on my bag for 10 seconds. Is someone staging me? What are these? This is uh, some embarrassment. Anyway, story off. We continue. And again on transport, on transport, mark this, please, kindly. Let me even, let me bring out the card. Don't, if you're trying to save money, don't dare take a Uber from the Nairobi, from the Mombasa Terminus to the Annie. That thing is even more than first class uh, ticket for this trip. It's like 3,500. For what? All you have to do is call this number. Wait, can you see it? I will write it down there. It's Joseph Safari. So I met this guy on my way back because the first time I struggled, kidogo, kidogo, but we made it through. But I was advised by my tours and travel company, ooh, which I will obviously link you up. <laughs> so I was advised to take him. So he charges 500 shillings transportation from the Nairobi terminus to Diani and from Diani to the Mombasa terminus. Do you get it? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's only 500 bob minus 3,500. That's a whole 3,000 shillings. That's a whole plate of seafood. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Let's save money. <laughs> Let's save money. Anyway, if probably you there are other people who don't have the private circle vans, so they have cars for Uber, but you are willing to take you there. Don't get in that car alone. Have some people with you. Call someone, tell them, hey, are you going to Diani? We can take this uh, moji together. So yes protect yourself yeah okay now let's dive straight into accommodation we gotta sleep we have to rest there are very many ways of getting to your accommodation so you can either book on booking.com you can do airbnb.com or you can just google a hotel that you are pleased with and go and spend the night there or the days there that you want to spend or you can also you see people in villas and whatnot they are all found on booking.com or airbnb uh the accommodation personally i am a lucky girl so i booked mine on booking.com it was uh i will show you imagine i spent only two thousand shillings that is twenty dollars for a night show me before she goes and gets the keys so that's my room yay oh and again when you're trying to book your uh, villa or resort think hotels they accept pets make sure you read their terms and conditions because most of them don't allow pets inside their houses they completely don't so if you're trying to travel with your dog or whatever please read the terms and I had to check out something guys so sorry now after you have already traveled gone into Diani, checked in in the hotel villa resort airbnb where you're staying now it's time for activities another hookup are you ready <laughs> so personally you know me i'm queen of cheap but i'm a very classy woman but i'm queen of cheap my pocket friendly i don't know about yours so let's go let's get it so here are the guys they're called uh coral spirits ventures so you can just google that on uh, on google and see the activities that they offer they do day excursions uh to swimming with dolphins glass boating snorkeling which i did of course <laughs> so they do all that just everything to do with the onion water yes so just call them give them a call and i will make that simple for you here's the number can you, can you see how I'm can you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't? Ah, 
And then another thing, personally I've always made Google my best friend. So if you're looking into other more activities other than Coral Spirits, you can always have another tour the travel. But for me, the day excursions were cheap. I only did a uh, snorkeling and boat tour, the glass boat tour, because you know, a girl girl be extra. <laughs> yes, and I also did photography. Ooh, that's that's another video. I also do deep sea. I also did deep sea photography. I did that and uh, it was very, very, I was, I was very, very impressed because I was traveling alone. So the person who was my tours and guide uh, helped me a lot with taking the videos. Thumbs up. Thank you very much, Coral Spirits. <laughs> that was one thing that I thank God for, you know, you guys. Oh, about the prices, they only charged me 2,000, 2,000 shillings because I was alone. And then if you are more than one person, they only charge you 1,500 shillings. And if you're not Kenyan, uh, they charge you 2,500 shillings. So it's only a 500 shillings for the non-Kenyans, for the Kenyans who are traveling alone, solo travelers like us. 2,000 baby girl, 2,000 sis, it's 2,000. And then if you're more than one, it's 1,500. So what you could go get? <laughs> Snorkeling is an activity that you're not forced. It's not a must. It's not like like glass boat tour. So after you pay, you must go, you understand? So it's it's an activity deep in the, in the deep ocean. So you get to wear this thing that I had worn here, uh, the glass mask, and then you get into the water. So you get to see different types of species of fish and underwater life which for me that i think that was the best experience about diani and uh, i was scared at first you know it's the ocean it's the indian dam ocean so yes i was scared at least you're good i succeeded and now here okay now sometimes you gotta take this on the glass boat tour you are also entitled to stop at what they call the beach yes this is a sandy place deep inside the ocean deep deep inside the ocean yes it exists no i'm not lying yes you can ask around <laughs> you see the way i'm hooking you up thumbs up about this deep sea photography so personally we had a, a a person we had a photographer inside our boat so who was willing to take photos of you obviously you pay it's not like uh, they're marketing you or something so you have to pay so personally i did out of the normal so i went for so our glass boat, it was just a major boat and then it has a rooftop. So I personally went to the rooftop to take my photos. And I think that was also one of the best experiences in Diani. And thanks to the photographer. So I think, wait, I think, yes, for each, for each company, they have their own photographer. Photographer, come to my DM on Instagram and then I will personally give it to you. For the prizes, uh, he was charging me 100 shillings. 150 shillings per photo but you know uh as i said before we have to make life simple so you have to negotiate this thing so i told her if it's not 100 you can keep the four o's <laughs> they told me baby girl you can have them give me the money so yes i took a couple of photos but it was 100 for me so you have to negotiate but it's 150 shillings so this is a deep sea photography i know Anyway, the coral spirits, they did me a good turn of favors. These people, they even had, they took me to, what will I do? These people took me to bush baby feeding out of the 2,000 shillings. Can you imagine? I think it's because, well, in Urumia, because I was alone, like, they were, like, sad because I was probably alone, so I didn't have any more activities to do. <laughs> and all I was doing is relying on them. So they took me on this, on this beautiful, beautiful place and then we got to feed bush babies so i know you want to say that and what are bush babies bush babies are animals they're primates actually they're primates that lives on trees and they eat sap from the trees and they eat fruits and vegetables so yeah they're just basically primate animals and they're small they look like small dark rabbits anyway here's the video Oh, before the video, all you have to do is buy a soda or just buy something from the restaurant and then they will allow you to feed the, the bush babies. Most of the time, it's always full. So you have to take caution of probing. You have to take caution of probing. So yes, it's a fun activity though. It's a fun one. So here's the video now.
all you have to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel motivate this baby girl you know we have to do this this is what we do for a living so not a living yet but this is what we do now <laughs> so you have to motivate me please make sure you put a thumbs up comment on your best 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 activity that you think i did and uh, you can ask me any questions through my dm or also through the comment section below so you can ask me through the instagram account that i leave obviously here and it's a good bar it's a good bar it's a good bar it's a good 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 bar